GameDraw comes with a very powerful set of tools to work with UVs as well as textures. You can edit UVs with the UV editor and you can also work on textures using the main texture utility. So let's take a look at this cow's model. This cow's model does not have any UVs to it as well as it doesn't have any texture. So to work on it we just go to the UV panel and we can see the functions with the, when dealing with UVs. You can rotate UVs, translate UVs, scale UVs. You can do a 90 degree rotation. You can flip horizontally, vertically and opening of the UV editor. Also you can do planar, cubic and spherical mapping as well as generating of the light map UVs so you can do light mapping for your scene. So let's go to the UV editor. In the UV editor you can simply click on unwrap which will unwrap your model it takes some time to do unwrapping on such a complex model but typically once the unwrap is finished you will get good results so speaking about the UV editor with the UV editor you can move rotate and scale vertices edges as well as triangles you have a list of all the materials attached to the game object so you can see each one of them and you can control how things are shown so for example we can show UVs for a specific material and we can draw the texture for a specific material let's bring up a texture for this cow so let's draw this texture in the background as you can see there is a lot of spaces that is occupied but is not used by the UV itself so you have two options either you can start working on the UVs so to work with the UVs you can select for example vertices and you can do selection let's let's select this group so let's select this group you can add with a shift and then you can simply start moving your UVs so we have missed some UVs so we can zoom in or out if you go to the pan mode you can just pan and then you can fix your selection by adding the missing vertices and you can then just move your selection You can also work with edges. And you can also work with triangles. You can also rotate your UVs. As well as scale them in case you want to scale your UVs. So, you can also use a checker to see how the UVs fit on your scene view there is two types of checker the normal checker and the numbers checker you can also debug so in case if, if let's say I selected these UVs and then I moved them on top of the others you can see here how they are overlaying and you can undo as well Another great advantage when working with the UV editor is that you can do more advanced unwrapping so you can specify different angle error things like that and you can also open the paint texture utility that is supplied by game draw in which you can easily delete unwanted areas add 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 more details to your cow for example let's remove the debug and the checker so if I, I go here I can undo this line I can undo this one as well then I can just go to the eraser and really erase unwanted areas 
so I can lower my texture size consumption If you want to do some modifications, you can also you can also paint on your model. For example, if you want to pick a specific color, you can do that, and then you can just paint wherever you want. And you can see it directly on your scene view. So, what if you want to, to open with Photoshop? You can simply double click and it will open with your default editor. For me, it's paint.net. Okay, so, and, and what if you want to save the UV layout? You just go to save texture and you click on save bng use alpha and you save your uv map then you can open it with your default map editor texture editor so you can do the modifications on top of that To get your object ready for light mapping, you need to generate the secondary UVs. In order to do that, GameDraw offers you the, this by two means. The first is through the GameDraw menu, so you can go to GameDraw, Light Map, Generate Light Map UVs, or you can do it from the UV map and you click on Generate Light Map UVs. Once you've done it, you can simply mark your object as, as a static and get the light mapping then you can bake your scene As you can see, it has taken your model smoothly and correctly. To add more resolution, you just control the resolution of light mapping so you can get higher quality. Another important function when working with GameDraw is the ability to assign new materials to your selection. So let's select the top triangles of this model. So now we have selected the top triangles of our model. And we can deselect any unnecessary triangles. Then we assign a material to the material slot. For example, let's assign a green colored material. Once we click on this button, the material will be assigned 
to your selection. On, on the other hand, you can use existing materials on your mesh renderer. So if you have multiple materials already assigned, Let's assign another material, for example, let's assign the wood texture. And once we assign it, we can then use a material ID to change our existing assigned material. For example, we can ch change to the green one, which is this one. And of course, you can change your material to match your needs on a later stages.